This is an Eleanor which is a very special car because this is not the standard Eleanors that we built. This is quite customized starting from a full frame chassis. So not only a full frame car uh, handles well of course but it looks so nice. You can see the stance of this car, how low it is and uh, how it looks we've got those big 18 inch wheels up front and back we've got 18 by 9s in the front and 18 by 12s in the back so really nice and wide wheels i'm doing kind of like a 360 degree of it to show you guys uh, and you can see you know uh, just visually how it sits is very different from the other mustangs that we've done before um so so there's no comparison of course with the with the full frame and uh, a half frame and uh, on the 360 you can see it's very similar otherwise to a standard gt500e uh in in the front or in the back uh it's quite similar just the stance oh that awesome stance that's what sets this car apart very customized there are semblances of the GT500e when you look at the dash uh, when you look at the steering wheel uh, these vents are working for AC we have center vents for the AC but the similarities they end there because you if you look at the toggle switches these are uh, aluminium our cast out of aluminium they are toggle switches like you get in the GT500 uh, the Ford GT sorry uh, so there's the same sort of toggle switches then you look at the center console it's quite raised because of our uh, full frame chassis and some we have some really cool touches as well so when i open this i have my music system and i have my ac hidden inside this and i have our uh, handbrake so this button basically engages the handbrake so it's a fly by wire handbrake and then you close it you know you don't see any of those buttons so there's a lot of those custom touches that you see inside this car uh, there's no back seats so if you can see this there's a boot kind of there uh, in the back and uh, we have speakers and stuff like that all all over there in the back and then we have uh, a racing harness because you've got racing seats as well so you've got harness in there as well just to hold us uh, into the car so this is one of those few cars where we actually have a coyote 5.0 on the car and i love these engines uh, because they are uh, electronically controlled so there is a lot of uh, you know reliability and the power uh, uh, how, it, how it produces that power is, is awesome um, but this engine is not an easy fit you know you have to do a lot of things you have to use the original intake fluid or you have to use one customized otherwise the engine would not run right uh, so there's a, there's a lot of stuff and it's, it's, it's a very big engine again so so to fit it uh, you know it's not easy a uh, lot of custom work is required to be able to put it in but um, you put it in and it works and it drives really nice okay.